Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to have a nice customizable analog clock for your desktop. I'm going to be using a program called Clocks. Clocks provides a full functioning analog alarm clock and calendar. There's a variety of styles of clocks to choose from, and they're all customizable to fit your own preference. And as you can see, I have my clock set up on the desktop here. But I'm going to go ahead and open Windows 7 in VirtualBox real quick here. Okay, I have Windows 7 now open in VirtualBox. And now I'm going to open a web browser. In the search box, I'm going to type CNET. And then I'm going to type clocks, C L O C X. And I'm going to hit enter. And here it is right here at the very top. So I'm going to click on that. Here it gives you a brief overview of the application. I'm going to click the download now button. And if you have the option to run, go ahead and run. I'm going to save the file. Once it's finished downloading, I'm going to click on the green arrow here, and then I'm going to double click on the application. I'm going to leave the language set at English, and I'm going to click OK. I don't want an icon on my desktop, so I'm going to uncheck this box. I'm going to leave the box checked for a start menu shortcut. I'm going to click Next. I'm going to leave the destination folder at the default location and click install. I'm going to uncheck the box to show README. I'm going to leave the box checked to go ahead and run clocks and I'm going to click finish. And here's the clock here. I'm going to bring it to the center here so you can see it better. And as you can see, you can move it anywhere you want. Go to options. Here's where you can set your preferences for the clock. Under general, you can set the transparency of the clock. If I adjust this, you can see how the clock is slowly fading out. I can bring it back in. You can set the mouse over transparency. Anytime your mouse runs over the clock, it'll go transparent. Under Windows Options, you can have the clock always show on top. You can pin the clock to the desktop, which I'm going to do. If you had a folder or something underneath the clock, you could click through the clock. You can make the clock unmovable, which I'll do eventually. You can limit the position by screen size, hide from the alt tab list, and you can also use the data system tray tooltip. You can set the priority of the clock. Here you could change the language if you wanted to. Under startup, you could have clock start up when Windows starts up, which that's what I wanted to do, so I'm going to check that box. You can have clocks run when the user logs on. You can set it to not adjust positions with dual monitors, and you can also allow for multiple instances. Under anti-aliasing, I just leave it at the default method. Under appearance, here's where you can select the style of clock. If I start clicking on these, you'll see the clock change. I'm just going to click on a few of them to give you an idea. There are a ton of clocks to choose from, as you can see. All of those are different styles of clocks to choose from. Under style options, you can have it show AM, PM on the clock. And as you can see, this one here says AM at the bottom. You can have it show a date on the clock, so I'm going to check that. You can also have it show the second hand. I'm going to leave that checked. Under zoom, this is where you can adjust the size of your clock. Then I'll enable it. And if I adjust the bar, you can see how the clock is getting bigger, getting smaller. Under time zones, you can change the time zone if you'd like. And under plugins, there's really not anything there. You have a hello world, and that's about it. And now I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now you can see on the clock you have the date up top here. You have AM down here. You can move it wherever you want. Now I'm going to right click on it. And I'm going to go to alarms. Here you can set different alarms for different occasions. And you can have as many alarms set as you'd like. And I'm going to show you how to do this real quick. I'm going to click new. I'm going to name my alarm wake up. I can have it reoccur once, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, or minutely.
select the date that you want the alarm to go off on, set the time. The time is 8.10, so I'm going to change it to 8.12. That way we can see it work. Under action, you can have a window pop up and give you the description of what the alarm is about. I'm going to say wake up. Here's where you can choose the sound of your alarm. If I check this box, and then come over here to this box, or click it, you have seven different alarms to choose from. If I select one, I'm going to check the looping box so it continuously runs when it goes off. And now I'm going to click OK so we can see how the alarm works here. It tells you when it's going to go off, what date. I'm going to click OK so it will go off when, at day 12. And there it is. So I'm going to close it out. You can edit your alarm by highlighting it, clicking on edit. You can change the different settings. You can delete the alarm if you wanted to. And you can also test it to make sure it's working properly, which it is. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to go back to the clock. I'm going to right click on it again. And now I'm going to go to calendar. And this is just a calendar. You can't double click on a date and add an event or anything like that. It's just a calendar. I'm going to close this. If I right click again, I have a couple options here. I can set it to click through the clock. Make the clock unmovable. Again, see how I can move the clock. If I right click on it, or click on unmovable, now when I try to move it, it goes nowhere. And before I stop the video here, I'm going to go to my host machine, my main machine. And I'm going to show you what I did here. I went to Google Images, I downloaded an image of the Windows logo. And now I leave the clock set on the second screen. But when it is on the second screen, I cover the logo, I right click, and I click unmovable. And now it don't move, you got a nice background in the back. So that's clocks, again it's a very nice analog clock for your desktop. Very customizable. My household is very useful. Thank you for watching, have a great day.